To create a new web page, simply click the Add Child button to the right of the page under which you'd like to add this new page. For instance, if you're adding a page beneath Abraham's tent, click Add Child to the right of Abraham's tent. Before you begin adding the page content, you need to add pieces of data that identify the page, known as metadata. The title of the page is important for search engines and for users managing multiple browser tabs or windows. The title will also be what you must click to edit the page in the CMS. While you're typing the title, the CMS uses it to automatically generate the slug and breadcrumb, which you can subsequently customize. Only the title field is initially visible. You have to click the More link to see other metadata fields if you want to change them from their automatic values. The title field establishes the page's title, which appears at the top of the browser window and any open browser tabs, as well as search results from search engines like Google. The title is not used in the page itself. You'll want to use a heading for that, which we'll cover later. The slug field is used to comprise the address or URL for that page. Slugs from all parent pages are aggregated together with the current page to generate the full address or URL. The slug is automatically generated when you type the title for the page, but sometimes you will want to manually change what is generated in the slug field. For instance, if you have a long page title, such as Shenandoah Anabaptist Science Society, shortening the slug to SAS would be recommended. It is good for search engine optimization, however, to have clearly identifiable slugs. The breadcrumb field is used to generate what is called the breadcrumb trail, a navigational tool located near the top of every page in the CMS below the header. It should be title cased like the title. By default, it matches the title exactly, but you may want to shorten it if the title is too long or redundant in the context of the breadcrumb trail. For example, the breadcrumb field for the web publishing guide page is simply web publishing because standards and guides precedes it when displayed in the breadcrumb trail. The description field should be filled in if the page contains no text that search engines can use to summarize the page, such as a page that contains just a video or a slideshow. It should generally be left blank. The keywords field should also be left blank. Search engines no longer use metadata keywords when ranking or organizing pages. We'll discuss how to create and edit actual content for a new page in a subsequent lesson. For now, it's sufficient to say that content is placed in the section of the page labeled with a tab called Body. To finalize the creation of this new page, scroll to the bottom of the screen and click either Create Page or Save and Continue Editing. Your new page will now be saved in the CMS.